What's up guys? It's Louis Galt here with eXp Realty. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics on earth, something I nerd out about, which is task management and the way that realtors need to start focusing on how they work in their business and what they work on in their business. A bit about me, I help coach a lot of realtors with systems processes, time management, and one of the biggest things that always comes up when I get a new client or a new agent who joins my group is this part of it. You know, we talk about the time management aspect of things and we did a video series last time all about this. And once you've figured out how to manage your time, it's awesome. You've kind of freed up stuff. You know when you can work and when you can slot things in. But then it comes down to the question of what should I be doing? How should I be doing it? And where should I be focusing my energy? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So effective task management is really breaking things down. You have to kind of take a step back and look at what you're doing before you can actually be involved in the growth of your business. So there's a couple of things we're going to jam out about, but I want to kind of start with uh, this quote right here, which is from President Dwight D. Eisenhower. And it is, what is important is seldom urgent. And what is urgent is seldom important. And the big piece of the puzzle here is that we focus on putting out fires. We live in such a reactive industry that we're always just trying to put out fires and put out fires. I'm always answering my phone and responding to texts and oh, it's nonstop. What we have to do is really take our time to figure out what is important in your business, what is urgent in your business, and then gel that together, focus on the things that are truly that, and get rid of the things that are not. And that's what we're going to start breaking down today. So today what we're going to do is jump into the whiteboard here, and we're going to talk about the Eisenhower Matrix. It's a tool that is phenomenal, and it changed the entire scope of my business and the way I look at things. So we're going to jump into that right now. If you want to follow along with a piece of paper or whatever, please feel free to do that, because uh, there is going to be some homework for this video. So uh, let's jump right into this, guys. Let me just pull my little Mikey mic over. So what this looks like, if you're going to draw this out with me here, you're just going to draw a line down like this. Boom. And we're going to draw a line like this. Boom. And then this is what we call our matrix. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put at the top, urgent, and then not urgent. And then on this side here, you're going to put important, excuse my handwriting, and then not important, okay? Hopefully yours looks a little more neater than mine, um, but we'll just roll with it. So now we have this box, right? So it goes into four. We've got a box that is urgent and important things for our business. We've got a box which is not urgent, but important for our business. We've got a box that is urgent, but not important. And we've got a box that is not urgent and not important. Now, what does this all mean? So let's break down each of these boxes and how you can start to work in them. Okay, so box number one here, urgent and important. These are the things that you need to get done in your business, okay? It's like, if I don't do this, my business is going to go on fire burn to the ground and then I'm going to have to find another profession. So this is the stuff that we have to do as realtors. It's, it's imperative that only us can do this, okay? And we're going to make some examples right here. So this could be things like showings, right? For me, for my clients, I like to personally do all my showings. What else? It could be writing offers, okay? So offers, there. Um, other things we could do would be to do listing presentations. All right. So you can see here that this is the stuff, listing presentations, this is the stuff that only I can do. Okay. Because uh, one caveat that we want to look at here is with the urgent and not urgent. This is urgent or not urgent to my business. And over here, this is important or not important for me to do that. Let me just um, quickly get this out of the way here because I'm going to draw all over it. So 
like I said, this is urgent or not urgent for my business. And this is important or not important for me to be doing it. So let's start focusing on that. So again, showings, offers, listing presentations, it's urgent for my business, 100%. And it's also important for me to be doing that. That's my decision in the way my business works. It's important for me to be doing it. So let's move to box number two, not urgent and important. So what does this mean? And this is a box I refer to as the money box or the business building box. And we'll get back to this on part two of what we're going to discuss today. So this is stuff like building out systems, strategies, and anything that, that is going to move your business forward and open up other doors for your business. Okay. So it's things that like don't have to be done right now, or your business is going to burn to the ground, but it's things that are super important. So it might be, you know, building out your CRM. Okay. Um, and things that are underlying foundations for your business that you have to get done, but it's not urgent to do them today. Okay. So that's box number two. Okay, box number three is going to be urgent to the business, but not important for me to be doing. Now, those could be things like inputting on your MLS. So if you have a listing coming up, but you're putting in all the information and stuff, that can be outsourced. So MLS input, installing signs. The amount of realtors I still know who go out and hammer in their signs is <laughs> absolutely crazy. What are you guys doing? So sign install costs like 25 bucks to get someone else to do it. So like uh, sign installs, video editing. If you are putting videos out there and you're editing them to yourselves, you have to figure that out because that's a lot of time that you're giving out. And you can see this kind of stuff, right? And then the last box we're going to jump into is our uh, not urgent for the business and not important for me to be doing. Now, this is the box of doom. This is the box that you want to get rid of. Okay, so this is stuff like social media. Now, not posting on social media and like using it for your business, but scrolling on social media, you know, looking up all your other realtors on social media, coveting what they're doing. This is bad for your business. This is not good. The other one I like to put in here is meetings. How many meetings do we go to? Way too many. If a lender is like, come and have lunch, I say no, because it's not urgent for my business and it's also not important for me to be doing. Okay, so let's see meetings. And we can throw in one more there. This is like, um, uh, let's see, uh, title, uh, title meetings as well that you have to go through. You know what? That stays under meetings. Let's just leave it at that. But you get the gist of it. So let's kind of zoom out here. So now we have our urgent, not urgent, important, not important. So you can see how this works. Now, this is great in theory, but how do you get to this point? So the name of the game here and the homework to do with this kind of thing and what I have all of my agents do is to track what you're doing. Now, this is the kind of boring part and it's not that much fun and it's sometimes kind of difficult, but if it was easy, everyone would do it. So here's what you want to be doing with this. So what you're going to do, you're going to take a week of tasks, okay, Monday through Friday. So Monday through Friday. And what you want to do is just list all the tasks that you do in your business. So if you start on Monday, just if you're working, just jot down maybe what you're doing, all the tasks you're doing. Are you posting on social media? Are you, you know, writing offers? Are you driving to showings? Like, what are you doing? Just keep a track of everything that you actually do, okay? So Monday through Friday, you just want to keep a track of all these tasks that you are doing throughout the week. And you're going to end up with a big old list um, of your tasks. Now, what we'll do at the end of the week on the Saturday or the Sunday is start to look at those. And you really have to take a bit of a bird's eye view and really assess which box these should go into. Okay, so are these tasks urgent and important that we were doing? Were they not urgent but important? Were they urgent but not important? Or were they in the box of doom, not urgent and not important? 
Because here's the thing, guys. What you need to figure out is that box number one, let me scroll this out here. Box number one is the things that you should do, okay? Box number two is the money box or the business building box, what I call. This is we're going to decide when we're going to do these tasks. Box number three is the things that we are going to delegate. And then box number four is the things that we need to delete. All right. And that's the easiest way of looking at these tasks, what they mean for our business. Okay. So do decide, delegate and delete. So now that we understand what those boxes mean for our business and what we should be doing, now you have to be transparently honest with yourself and a little bit ruthless to really focus what you've been doing, okay? So you might be going through your tasks and being like, yeah, this is here, here, and maybe only two of those tasks were truly in box number one or two, okay? What we see typically is that the majority of the boxes are in the decide bracket and there's a couple that go into our delete okay so this is a typical assessment when i work with agents what this usually looks like and it's typically the trap because a lot of us think that we're working in box number one but we're actually working in box number three we're doing the things that seem urgent to our business but they're not important for us to be doing and this is the tale of time when I work with agents. Typically what we do is we get all of this um, yellow stuff, all of those tasks, they think they're in here, but they actually need to be in the delegation box right here. Now, what does this actually mean? Okay, now we've got this all figured out. Okay, we've got our colors, it looks all pretty. We've tracked our time, we figured out what boxes things are going in. Well, now is the time that you really need to assess what you're doing in your business and you need to figure out if you need to make changes okay so the biggest one is the delegation box like i said what you want to be doing is taking these tasks and figuring out how to outsource them and this is the absolute game changer for agents you know um and a lot of people think that that just means a va but it doesn't you know virtual assistants are awesome i have them too they're great but it also means delegating them out to software. It, maybe there's like automation software you can use, your CRM, you can delegate things to, maybe it's a, a repurpose um, app for social media that you can use. But figuring out how to delegate things so you don't have to spend time on these tasks is the biggest piece of the puzzle here. This is where we free up so much bandwidth with realtors that they can focus on these two boxes right here because almost half of their business, if not three quarters, goes into the delegation box, okay? So I uh, recommend what to do for a full week is go and track your uh, efforts, track your tasks, track everything you're doing. And then what you'll do is you'll come back and you'll just start to move these into the boxes, figure out how your time is being spent with your tasks, and then you can start to evaluate. Now, when you first start doing this, I recommend doing it every single week until you get used to it, then you can scale it back to like a week or like every month and then eventually every quarter. I still use this every quarter just to figure out what I'm doing. But at the start, I was doing it every single week and it helped tremendously. And what happens is when you figure out how to use these boxes properly, especially deleting all the things that are not worth your time and bringing your business down and delegating everything, now we start to work in these two boxes and this right here Box number two is the money box. And that's what we're going to jump into is how to effectively work in this box right here. This is the money box where entrepreneurs and real estate agents who are at the highest level build their business. Okay. We still attend to our tasks in the do column. Absolutely. Get that stuff done. But this is where your business is made or broken. It's where you can scale things dramatically. And if you understand the matrix and if you understand how you're spending your time, you can get more done in a month.
that most people can get done in a year. And I am proof of this. Once I started using this about three years ago, I overtook my competitors dramatically. And I overtook my own goals and everything that I was thought that I was going to achieve in the business by about 10x because I could focus on what I'm doing right here. So we're going to break this down in the next video here. What I want you to do though with this one is to go back, track your time for a week, and then come and be ruthlessly honest with yourself about where you've spent your time and your tasks, what boxes they lie in, and then delete the stuff that needs deleted, delegate what you need to delegate, decide on the things that need decided on. We'll jump into that in the next video and do the things that you have to do. And one last thing I will say, guys, about this delegation box, because again, it does become a big topic of conversation, is the subject of virtual assistants. Because most of the time, the agents I work with, they hire a VA, and this is where this box goes to VAs. And a lot of people don't typically understand the VA process or how that works or the cost benefits of it. Um, but guys, if you're in your business and you're doing more than a couple deals a year, honestly, outsourcing things to a VA is going to expand your business like crazy. VAs are cheap, guys. You know, I pay my uh, admin assistant about $3 an hour. It's about 120 bucks a week because she works uh, um, five days a week for me. So it's about 480 bucks a month. Okay. Now, if you, the average price point right now in the United States is about 436,000. If you sell that at a 2.5% commission, buyer or seller end, whatever, about half of that, you're paying for a VA for the year. That's how cheap this is really. So if you're doing one deal, half the commission is going to pay your entire year for a VA who can take an immense amount of workload off your plate, 50 to 75%. So I really implore people to, to really look at that if they're going to start delegating to hire a TC. I've got lots of videos um, on my YouTube channel about how I delegate things and how I use different um, products and, and apps to delegate my VAs. So definitely check that out. But I'm telling you, if you're doing more than a couple of deals a year, you are going to explode your business if you can get a VA to take 50 to 75% of the tasks that you shouldn't be doing into your business. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Go and do your homework, track your tasks that you've been doing, find out which boxes they need to go into or, or they do go into, and then start to do, decide, delegate, and delete those tasks. All right, guys, we're going to be back on the next video talking about this money box and exactly how to break down these box number two tasks and expand and blow up your business in a strategic way throughout the year. Thanks a lot.